Hello, I'm Jay Chester Armstrong. This is my studio in Sisters, Oregon. Welcome to the Studio Tour 2021. I've collected a great body of work here. I'd love to show it to you. Come on in. We'll start with this little piece, Three Little Ravens in Black Walnut. I call it Triple Trouble. Uh, the character of the raven is, you know, He's trouble. <laughs> right here, we have the two uh, great horned owls. Uh, I got your back, and it's a uh, male-female owl piece, all carved in black walnut. Here's a special little piece for me, carved in uh, ponderosa pine, which is our local wood. It's a self-portrait, me as a Neanderthal, carving his world. And uh, the other day, I found this uh, Eagle Scout merit badge uh, sash and I put it on him and it really works because there's the uh, wood carving merit badge. The beginning of Jay Chester's wood carving career. Nine, 12 years old. <laughs> uh, here we go. The Sentinels, two little uh, American Eagles. This piece is pretty special to me. It's a female form and it, she's uh, contemplative, meditative, and just so quiet inwardly, the butterflies have landed on her. Here we have another self-portrait. Everybody uh, is close to the orangutan modalities. So he's, uh, don't, be, don't be looking at my banana. Here's a special little piece, something new, a really stylized, Heron piece, the two juxtaposed between one another, and the lines and form are all the focus of the piece. I think that's a great, great piece of work. One of my monuments, uh, the Buffalo Dance, carved in burly maple. I came from Oregon here, and the buffaloes came out right out of the wood. Everywhere there was a burl, it looked like buffalo fur, so I started making them buffaloes. And it, the buffalo are emerging from the primordial mass of Mother Earth being danced into life by the Native Americans. And it's the buffalo dance, which is their, basically it's their metaphysical religion of connectedness to the animals. Right here we have another Native American piece, the the Braves riding his horse herd, and I call it the Bride's Price. He's taking his horses, which represent his wealth, uh, to the neighboring tribe to secure his bride. Carved in black walnut, a really monument in wood carving. I love horses. Horses just have so much fluid movement to them, and they're a herd animal, so they interact well. Here's three horses running, and uh, fam family dynamic. Black walnut. Here's another horse piece, but similar size, uh, representing the family spirit. And it's the male, female, and the uh, colt. All the movement is the, the key to these pieces. Here we have the dancing uh, woman carved in alder, greeting us as we come into the main part of the workshop. Right here is a new piece carved in black walnut. It's uh, three wolves on the hunt. Great action, great interaction. One of the things I love to do in wood is carve multiple images in the same log to show there's connection. And truthfully, they are. Here's another great piece I'm very proud of. The mother and the, cult, the, the cub. Uh, she's teaching them the basics of fishing. It's the shape of the piece, the dynamic going for the fish, and the eagerness of the cub uh, looking down at the fish. And the fish down below really create a bottom line accent. Here's one of my favorite pieces, another female form. Represents transformational energy, shamanistic, if you will. The woman is dreaming her power symbol, which is the wolf. And the wolf is connected to her. 
I call this uh, high ground to bald eagles sitting on a stump, one high looking out, one a little lower looking down. It's a great juxtaposition of two pieces. That's carved in black walnut. Also, a little bleach on the heads to offset the color. This, this is one of my monuments that uh, I'm very proud of. It's the running of the bulls. Um, back in 1970s, I was in Pamplona running with the bulls just like that. That was where the conception of the piece came from. And it's five bulls uh, running as a herd, as I saw in Pamplona. This is a great little piece, a little cute, cute combination of coyote pups. I call it the age of innocence and it has just a little humor to it with one of the pups holding his ears and the other pup looking at you, looking at the piece, and then otherwise the, the four howling. What we have here is a buffalo herd, one, one block, black walnut, great coloration in the wood, a little detail to pop the buffalo fur out, but it represents again that mass in motion that buffaloes represent, and I call it the band of brothers. This is another piece that I'm very proud of, uh, one of the new, new offshoots of the Jaychester style. It's a little stylized cougar. The anatomy is there, but instead of the detail on the surface, I created planes of reference, and so it has a very contemporary edge to it. Night Hunter. Here we have a, a wall mural, whereas the pieces you've seen have been three-dimensional. This is a two-dimensional piece designed to hang on the wall and create a three-dimensional sensibility. So it's the herd, herd of horses, which I do so many of, the herd of horses coming out of the high country with the eagle flying over, and I call it high country stampede. What makes this piece particularly striking is the coloration, where you go from the the mountain tops, which are snow capped to the background to the waterfall feature, and then a little green on the trees just to offset them and create that life spark. And then again, the coloration in the horses, each one individualized. Here we have a little fox family. The mother yawning, I call it overworked and underpaid, and it's the uh, Saga of the, the mom taking care of the pups. Otters, I do a lot of otters. This is a nice little otter piece. The, the fluid movement is the sense of it. And it's uh, otters at play. I call it the circle game. All carved in black walnut. Again, an otter family. Uh, pretty much self-explanatory, the papa, mama, and the, the kid, they're all in, in connection, as animals always are. Everybody relies on one another in the animal world. Simple little coyote piece. We have a lot of coyotes here. You can see them crossing the road as you drive up to the, the property. And there's the howling mom and the, the little pup. This is particularly one of my great best pieces ever. It's the eagle representing flight and the dynamics of the air coming in and uh, you know grabbing the fish coming up the river. And so we have the water, the spirit of the water that meets the spirit of the air. I call it elemental force. And it's connected by a juniper branch. Here we have some more otters, the playfulness of the otters. Um, in motion, catching the fish, just to create the fluid movement, I call it in the flow. Carved in black walnut. Here's another female form that's been around. This was my mother's piece. You know, you always give your mother something and she got this and it was outside in her garden for 40 years. 
and now I got it back, and it's just a wonderful reference of the survivability of wood outside. Great patina, by the way. Here we have a piece carved in black walnut, two little red foxes, combination of the mama and the papa. And uh, the coloration is what makes the piece. You get the red, red dye and the bleached white to offset color. That, that pops, comes alive because of the color. Here we have America United, a uh, sense of two eagles. The, the different characteristics of the American consciousness. There's fiery action and more contemplation. That's carved in juniper, which is our local wood. Here's a great piece again that I think is just one of those perfect pieces. The uh, mother deer and the fold. And uh, Self-explanatory, it's the shape of the piece that makes it the connectionness of the mother and the... Uh... Here we have Guadalupe, who was done for a, a, a project in a Mexican restaurant. Represents a good example of church work that I've done a lot of. Here we have the Wolf family. Carved in black walnut, what set this apart is partly the coloration in the wood just gives it a lot of splash and it represents two, two coyotes in the pup. This was the branch coming off, so instead of wasting it, I created the little, little pup howling in the mama and the papa and uh, the combination. This is a fairly unique little piece. Pelicans, they say why pelicans in Central Oregon, but actually we have pelicans at Crane Prairie. So uh, that represents again a nice connection between three pelicans uh, perched on a, a roost, kind of in a contemporary style, Flow, fluid movement, not too much surface detail, emphasizing the line. Here again is a piece that I'm very proud of. It's uh, five herons. Herons are one of my favorite pieces because of the dynamic of the, the curves of the body lines. Here we have the negative space of these two connected, this sharing, and he's just silhouetted. So I call it expressions of sharing and caring, and it's connectedness between the herons. And the last piece we're going to show today is the double eagle piece. And this was carved in juniper and represents a great example of two eagles connected together in one piece. Uh, where the lower wing creates the base, the upper eagle's coming in, and then the fish is the, the point of contention here is the fish. And actually, this could be a, a, the mating ritual of the, the, the bald eagle, is they're exchanging the fish uh, to show connected, you know, that they're a mated pair. And then they'll go set up their nest. Well, that's the tour today. And uh, thanks for coming. <laughs>